Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm AD the Barber, and back again with another haircut tutorial. And today I'm be showing you guys how to do an undercut. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna section off the hair right where it disconnects, right at the top. You wanna do that on both sides, or if the hair is longer, you can usually get it in just one pin. Now with your five zero blade, you're gonna go in and you're gonna create your first guideline. For this undercut, I'm gonna drop the guideline back and I'm gonna just ball it out right above the ear. And you're gonna repeat the same process on both sides of the head. And again, as I usually do, if you watch my other videos, I like to start on the left side of the head, go to the right side, and then connect my guideline around in the back. Now I'm gonna take my Andy shaver and I'm gonna completely bald out the area where I made the guideline. So when I'm down towards the bottom of the neck, I'm gonna use a little bit more pressure than I do when I get towards the line. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the line. And remember, you wanna be really careful when you're using a shaver like this, because it can become really hard to get the lines out. And if you're a new barber, and you're not great at getting lines out, you can create lines that are permanent in the head. And as you can see here, I'm not going all the way to the line. Just staying right below it. And you just wanna repeat the same process all the way around the head. Now, when you use the shaver, it really helps your fade pop out a lot more if you do it correctly. If you do it wrong, you can really see some lines in there that you don't want. The next step with using the shaver is that if you do get lines in there that you can't get out with the shaver, take your trimmer and just use the corners and go in and flick them out. Now I'm gonna take my number one blade and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make a second guideline about an inch up from the first guideline that I created. And I'm gonna do this all the way around the head. Now if you watched the first video I did talking about how to fade with detachable clippers, you remember how I said to keep the blade flush. And as you can see here, as I get around to the back, I'm keeping my blade flush to the head as I'm making this second guideline. Now as I get around to the right side, you can see how the hair starts to change direction and it starts to grow back towards the ear. So I'm going to change my clipper direction and continue to cut against the grain of the hair. And when I'm working with multiple guidelines, I like to try to keep my guidelines as neat as possible just so I can make sure I get a nice even fade. Now after I finish with my first two guidelines, I'm gonna start to blend out the bottom guideline I made. So that bottom guideline I made with my 5-0 blade or 5 aught. And so I'm gonna start with my OA blade using the corners and I'm gonna go in and start to blend that out. Remember just to be patient, take your time, and to use short flicking motions, quick flicking motions to help get that line up.
So after I take my OA blade, I'm gonna go to my triple zero blade or triple aught, and I'm gonna do the same process using the corners, keeping the clipper flush to the head, and finishing blending out that bottom guideline I made with my five zero blade. Clipper position is really important when you're fading out these lines. You wanna make sure that you keep a consistent clipper position. As you can see, when I'm using my uh, triple zero blade, I'm not going up as high as I was when I was using my OA blade. So back over here on the right side, I'm gonna do the same process I just did on the left. Starting with my zero A blade, I'm gonna go in, corners of my clippers, blending out this line. And as you can see here, as the hair changes direction, as I did with my guideline, I'm changing the direction in which way I'm cutting when I'm going against the grain of the hair. Now I'm back again with my triple zero blade. Same process as well. Going against the grain of the hair, corners of my clippers, blending out that line I made with my five zero blade. All right, now I got my main guy line out, the one I made with my 5-0. Now it's time to take my 1A blade and go in and start to blend this haircut into the top. So I'm using the same exact techniques as I was showing you guys with the uh, OA blade and the uh, triple zero blade. I'm just going against the grain of the hair, following the direction as you see the hair grows back towards the ear. So I'm just taking my time and using my corners, keeping the blade flush to blend this line out. Now after I've gotten a little higher with the 1A, I'm gonna take my one and a half blade and I'm gonna go in and continue to blend out that weight that I made with the 1A. Keeping my clipper flush to the head. Same process, same technique as I've been using. The hair's changing direction, I'm changing direction.
Now sometimes the blades uh, won't completely get those lines out. So another thing I'm going to show you guys in this video is how to get those lines out using guards. And so I'm going to show you guys some clipper over comb, some shear over comb, and uh, a combination of everything in this video. After I'm complete with my one and a half, now it's time to move on to my two blade. And this is going to be my final blade. Anything higher than this, I use a clipper over comb technique or shear over comb technique to blend out the weight at the top of the head. And back on the left side with my one and a half blade, doing the same thing I just showed you on the right side. Taking your time, blending out that line. I'm using a really light pressure. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to take off too much hair the higher I get. And the same technique with my number two blade, not going any higher than the disconnect point because I'm going to use clipper over comb and share over comb to knock that out. So now after I'm done using my blades, doing my fading, before I do any cleanup work, I want to go in and blend out this weight at the top. So I'm going to put my OA blade on for this clip over comb. And I'm going to go in with my comb. I'm going to pull the hair out towards me. I'm just going to take off a little at a time and kind of create a guide so it blends in with the rest of the hair. And now after I got my guide created, I can go up and I can blend out the rest. Go up, pull the hair out towards me, and follow the line I created with my first cut. The goal here is just to remove all the excess weight that you have at the top where your hair disconnects. Now after I finish my clipper over comb, I'm going to take um, a half guard and I'm just going to go in and start to do some cleanup work. So start off with my half guard on my wall seniors, just using the corners, any little spots I see, going and just flicking out. Now with my one guard on, I'm just doing the same thing. Just basically doing some spot cleanup. Any spots I see in the mirror, I'll take my guard, use the corners, flick it out. This is a good trick when you're fading with detachables and you're having a hard time getting out any of the lines you created. Now this step's not 100% necessary. This is something if you want to do a little bit more detailed work you can do. Um, some shear over comb. And I'll do a more detailed video on shear over comb here in the future. But I just want to put a little bit of it in here because I did use it on this haircut. And so the key with shear over comb is to have slow comb, fast scissor. And you want to keep the blade that's being held by your ring, ring finger still. And the only thing you're moving is your thumb. So the blade being held by your thumb, which is the top blade, should be doing all the cutting. So that's just about it for this video about how to do an undercut. If you guys got questions, make sure you hit me up. I'm not going to style the hair in this video. I'll be doing another video with him, doing another undercut, showing you guys how to style the hair. Um, we'll probably do a slick back, a comb over, a pompadour, um, man bun, who knows. There's tons of variations we can do with this. And so you guys make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.